Hi, Greg here in uh, Egan, Minnesota, up in our Manufacturing Distribution Center. Um, previously, we did a short video on how you coat a screen properly and with the tools that you require. We also did one on exposing the screen um, and uh, doing the developing, the washing out part. At that point, we want to take our screen, which we created before, and I need to block out all of this area around it. And if there happens to be any pinholes, um, I want to block those out too. That way, it's a water-soluble blockout in most cases. Uh, we're going to be using the RB203, which is the thick blockout. I like this one, particularly when I'm using coarser meshes. Um, if I'm going to a fine mesh, I'll go to the RBT, RBT202, which is a thin. And then, of course, we have the RB201, which is a permanent blockout. If you put that down, you're never getting it off. That's for sure. So I'm going to utilize our uh, BL1620 um, exposure unit because I like to have a backlight behind it. It makes it easier for me to um, block it out. And so what I'm going to do is just puddle a little bit here in the corner. There we go. Get my trusty squeegee. And we just go around the entire surface, blocking this area out. Pretty simple, pretty easy. The big thing is, is to make sure that if you have any areas in here that you might have to block out because of a pinhole from dust, something like that. Keep her going. And as I said, this is water soluble, so that when you want to remove it, just water will break it down really nice and fast for you. Now I can see here, because of my backlight, that I have a little bit of an open area. That might be from the edge of the film, it looks like. So I'm going to cover that area with a quick pass, um, making sure not to get it into my image area. Then I'd have to go wash the whole thing out again and start over. And that is it. Simple and easy. Let it dry. At that point, what I'm going to do is take simple packing tape. That's what I use. Um, and I'm going to take it um, all the way around on the inside edge. That way I make sure that when I'm printing, if I get ink over there, I'm not getting it caught underneath in these areas. Um, so, blocking out a screen utilizing RhinoBlock 203. We also have that thin one, RB202. And if you want to permanently save that screen, you can use the 201, which is a permanent blockout. Thank you for watching. Um, you know where to find us. Until next time.